Storing email data on Microsoft Office 365 is a much safer option than simply keeping it in PST files on local drives. The PST file data, when stored in Office 365, is less vulnerable to corruption and is easier to access from multiple devices. The Office 365 import service from Microsoft makes it easier for organizations to move PST files in bulk, both primary and archive, to Office 365 from their network shares. This method knows as the network upload method. Before starting, make sure that your account has mailbox and port export permissions. In the Office 365 admin center, expand setup and click data migration. Then select your data service page appears. Now click upload PST files. The import data to Office 365 page appears. Expand the plus sign and select upload email messages PST files. Upload files over the network page appears. Click the link, show network upload SAS URL. Now, the SAS URL appears. Note, for the Microsoft documentation on PST migration procedure, click the first link open the companion guide for uploading email PST data. Now, copy the SAS URL, keep it saved somewhere for future use. Click download tool. Click the installer when the download is complete. The welcome window of the Microsoft Azure Storage Tools appears. Click Next and complete the installation. In the Azure command line tool, execute the CMD lets in the syntax to upload PST files to Azure Storage location. Note, now you can open the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool, connect to it, and provide the SAS URL to preview the PST files. Note. You can download and install the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer tool from Microsoft. After successful upload, check the I am done uploading my files checkbox in the upload files over the network. Now to create a CSV file for mapping PST files, and check the checkbox, I have access to the mapping file. Finally, click Next. Note, to create a CSV file, use the format recommended by Microsoft. Provide values for workload, file path, name, mailbox, IS archive, target root folder, content code page, SP file container, SP manifest container, and SP site URL separated by commas as shown. You can use Excel or Notepad for editing the CSV file. Enter a name for the job, click next. Click the plus sign, upload the CSV file and validate it. Click Finish and close the window. Now, the import data to Office 365 page displays the status of the import process. Note, click View Details to get detailed information. The network upload method is very complicated, and it requires much technical knowledge. So, it is not reliable for non-technical users, and there are chances of data loss. To overcome all these issues, you should use the third-party tool. Kernel Import PST to Office 365 is designed to import single or multiple PST files to Office 365. Thanks for watching the video.